Welcome to the Tech Data Azure Training Video Labs series. My name is Sean Taylor, a Microsoft Solutions Architect in the UK. In this particular video, we are going to look at creating an uh, Azure Virtual Network. Um, this is particularly important for the virtual machines that you create. If you have not created any virtual networks prior to creating an Azure Virtual Machine, um, the Azure Virtual Machine will be added to the um, default network that uh, Azure uses, which would be a 192.168 address. So if you want to subdivide or containerize or separate um, a certain set of virtual machines from another set of virtual machines within the same subscription, creating an, uh, an Azure virtual network is, is, is very important. So we'll start off with new and we're going to go to network service uh, virtual network uh, and for this one um, I'm going to use the quick create so this would be our uh, tech data Azure VM network and from here I could choose um, a 10 address space, a 172.16 address space or a 192.168 address space so uh, let's choose a, a 172.16 address and then from there I've got the ability to stipulate what the um, classless interdomain routing uh, bit mask is going to be so in this instance we'll go with a, a, a slash 20 uh, again, uh, we'll stipulate the fact that we're in um, Northern Europe and what this um, would require is, is, a, is a DNS server. So um, you can bring your own DNS server, which uh, we'll do in the next lab, which is part of the custom create process. Or you could register a DNS server from there or alternatively, one of the servers that we would create within that address space could be the DNS server. So. We'll just do a, a quick create on there and once that was created when I go to create an Azure virtual machine <clears throat> which we'll look at in a later uh, video um, rather than it just being the individual um, default subnet that uh, Azure virtual machines use I would be able to select from the drop down and actually pick my own uh, configured uh, virtual network rather than the uh, the default that's there so um, what we would be able to do from there is we can see that we have um, our address space <clears throat> and within that address space I have uh, subnet 1 <clears throat> I could create a sub second subnet, so keeping everything containerized within this particular um, object. So if I create a second subnet and save that one, so again, when I create my virtual machines, I, ca I can select um, which uh, one of the virtual networks and, and in turn which subnet within it that that virtual machine is, is actually going to be uh, allocated. So that is the creation of um, a virtual network within uh, Microsoft Azure uh, that we would then attach a virtual machine to as and when uh, we create it. 